Hey everyone, it's Brittany coming to you from Chino, California, right here at the factory. I'm gonna kind of go over a few things that we just recently changed on our bigger tugs, give you a little bit of history about them and the reasons why we did what we have done recently. We, the major difference that we did is we split the drive shaft in half. So we have one on this side, one on that side, and we put a spline coupler in the center. Um, this just makes it really easy for you to either, like anything else with maintenance, you know, maintenance in your car, what have you, um, with the gearbox motor assembly, all you would need to do is just unscrew these four screws to get this out so that we're not having to take apart the whole tug, or even to take off the, the railing assembly. So all you need to do is unscrew the four screws here. So previously, in order to take the railing assembly off, you would need to take the side covers off, front or, you know, left side and right side. And then you'd have to take the track off, take the main drive sprocket off, and then you'd have a handful of other screws on the inner part to take off. But all we need to take off today are just these four screws. So I'm gonna show you how easy it is to take the rail off. What you'll need is a 3 8 drive ratchet wrench, which we do give you in the box. Then you are going to need an extension that goes at the end of it, along with a 5 16 Allen socket. All right, so now we're gonna just go ahead with these four screws, we're just gonna loosen up each and every one of them. Not completely, just a little bit. And now you might wanna have the tug you don't have to, but you might want to have the tug sitting up on a cart or something like a table or something like that if you want to make it a little bit easier for you. Um, and maybe somebody on the other end, you just always want to make sure that uh, when you're doing the maintenance like this, that um, one side's not going to overpower the other and kind of tip over. So I'm going to go ahead and take these screws out. Make it a little bit easier by doing this. So we got two out now, just need two more. And I am kind of putting a little pressure here um, on the track just to keep it a little secure. So we have our four screws out. Now put this down We're gonna slide the railing assembly out straight. Let me move these so I don't lose them. Okay, so now I am just going to slide it out. We're gonna slide it out straight here. And it's as easy as that. So, all right, so I just took this off. This piece alone weighs 30 pounds. So together, both of these sides weigh 60 pounds, so you can only imagine how much weight we're taking off the tug if you have to just send this part in or even sending in just the railing assembly. It's only going to be 30 pounds. So one of the added benefits to removing each railing assembly is going to be that you can take it in the plane with you. Um, so you have just three parts at that point, um, and just, it really does make it easier for it makes it easier for a two-man job. So, I mean, obviously you can carry this on your own, but you'll probably want some help carrying the bigger component. So one, two, three pieces. So I just got done putting this back together. You would just put it back together the same way you took it off. Um, it literally took a minute. I mean, it's a super quick thing. The screws are super easy to come out, put back in. Um, just to recap that we did this for uh, it to be easily serviced in the future so that you're not having to spend a lot of time, um, frustrations, headaches, et cetera, et cetera. And um, it'll be like this from here on out, so it'll be, make things much easier. Um, and then while I'm standing here looking at this, we did implement a new QR code system where if you do have any issues with your unit 
You just need to scan this with your phone or you can easily go on our website and there's a tab there that's for service and you would just select the tug that you have and it shows you all kinds of things like videos, parts, the troubleshooting guide, any questions that you might have should be on there. If not, of course, we're always here to take your call. Um, but take advantage of this just anytime you might ever have any issues. And uh, hopefully this video helps you out learn about your new tug.